the book, the book is great, right? and it has like sufficient information, right? So that you can do everything directly from the yes. book, right? You've got you the recipes, have, yeah. Yeah. Right? everything's there. Everything uh, is there. Did you? What did you think of the nutrient appendix? <laughs> It's like my favorite part of the book, I think. If you want epi nutrients, there's, you know, I think almost 30 pages of how you can have, um, you know, just slather your diet in as many epi nutrients as possible. It's really good. I mean, you've got all the recipes and, and the, the nutrients and the explanation for the kind of the theory as well. I mean, it, it's nice that you have the, the, the idea, the theory and, and the practice. Um, but supposing somebody wants a hand, right? So you have the three younger you program. So, so what, three what is three years younger? So, and who would that be for? Uh, and is it for, is it worldwide? The, so our, yes. Yeah, so the digital program is called three years younger. You can go to join dot three, three Y Y program.com or just go to younger you.com and you'll, find links to get there so you can if you go to younger you program.com that's the easiest then you can find the links to both i don't want to confuse anyone um i think the digital program is uh it's just a, i think it's a great resource i well so our study when we hired the health got research institute ryan bradley my you know, the, the, my co-PI who ran the study, he's there in Portland and I'm in Connecticut. Um, I wouldn't say that he's, he was dubious. That's sort of too strong of a word, but it, he was concerned that the study subjects would have, would struggle adhering with the program because it's multivariable and the diet is, um, you know, it's, it's relatively specific and, you know, you may need to change, there may be a, a learning curve for some of us, depending on what our eating patterns are beforehand, um, you know, and getting in the meditation groove and, you know, making sure your sleep hygiene is good and all of this, there's, or, you know, just your exercise structure, if that's something new to you, there's, there's, so there's a lot of potential balls in the air. And I think a major key to our success was the fact that it was a requirement for study participants to meet with the nutritionist at least weekly at first. The nutritionists, I want to say in the study, followed a very, they had to follow a script, you know, that it was, they were not sort of cheerleading them on and, or anything. They just, but, but just that contact, that support, I think was the difference between success and failure. And we can see in our adherence data that our participants hung in there, like they really stuck with it, which is amazing to me and another piece for us to write up. And that's what the app does. The app actually takes that support in that we provided in the study. And of course they were at the, the participants would check into the Health Got Research Center and then all of their forms would be there for them to do like everything that they needed to do. They were like supported on and we built that out in the app. So who is it for? It's for anybody who you know, wants to really get it right. I mean, people, you know, if you're, if you're good at, at taking the contents of a book and we put so much energy into pulling the branch down to make it as doable as possible. So you can follow the book and do the program, um, then go for it. That's fabulous. But if you want the support of someone trained in this, um, and if you want the reminders of, of, of the app, I mean, there's just so many bonuses for that. And the community element, which is something that I want to build out. If there was one component, if, if there was one change to the study that I might have made, it would be to somehow build in a community component to it, just knowing how important that is for longevity. Um, I don't know how we would have done it in a randomized control trial, but that's an important, that's a piece that we want to bring into the app, you know, so participants can have some form of communication with each other. We haven't nailed it down yet. We're still in our, in beta, but our full launch will be, you know, in a couple of weeks when the book goes live. So I'd say the app is for, is for all of us, um, unless you feel like you can bang it out with the book. How's that? Oh, <laughs> and the other, and the nice thing about the app too, is that you can get your epigenetic testing. You can have support with interpretation. You can get the supplements and so forth. Right. So, but, so you're also doing kind of a, a follow-on trial that you're cool. arranging a follow-on trial. Mm -hmm. So is that related to this program or is it separate or is, 
Yep. Yep. So it'll be, it'll be looking at this program again um, with some shifts. I mean, it's not a randomized control trial. It's based on the app. It's participant funded. We aren't excluding anyone. Uh, we aren't. So, so any age, you know, my, the, our pilot study was, was only men. And so obviously we want uh, women in this one, our numbers will be bigger. Um, we can, you know, people can come into the study with various health conditions as, you know, as long as they feel that they're safe, that they're, that this, our program is appropriate for them. Um, so we want to just be collecting data for over the long haul on a variety of, um, individuals. We're not going to control what supplements they're taking, you know, et cetera. That's the three YY program. And it, it's like, people who join that can then select that they want to be part of the trial. That's right. Yeah. And if you decide that you want to be part of the trial, you'll have, you know, the various forms that are required for, for, you know, creating a, for running a study. There'll be a little bit more data collection, but we hope people are excited about it and want to, you know, continue to participate in, in building this knowledge base.